Good morning and welcome to day two of the bridge build. Uh, so if you missed part one, I'll put a link up in the top corner for you. Uh, and if you want to see the video of where I demolished the old bridge, uh, I'll put another link up there for you in the corner as well. Uh, so, plan is to try and get this bridge finished by the end of the day because I've got next week booked off. Um, so that is get the handrails up, get the decking down and build a ramp up to this end uh, all in today. So I've got lots to do. So in the last video, uh, I was having a bit of trouble because I was trying to work out where the handrails are gone. Um, I've had a good night's sleep and I've worked out what I'm doing with those now. So that is all marked out. So the next step is to put the noggins in between the beams. They'll tie all the beams together so it's one big structure, stop the beams from twisting. So I've made a start already this morning and cut all the noggins to size. So let's jump in and get on and put those in. Okay, so that's all the noggins in and it's all clamped together so it's all working as one. So I'm hoping it shows up in this video uh, where I walked across it before. You can see the beams and they're uh, sort of twisting, each one's moving on its own. Uh, whereas after I've got the noggins in, as I walk across it, it all moves as one. There's still movement in it. It's timber, it's going to move. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't flex anywhere near as much. Uh, once I've got the deck boards and the handrails on, that's going to be even better. So, yes. Um, Unfortunately, we've now got rain, um, so I need to charge the drill. I'm going to go and put that on charge. I'm going to have to move all the handrails down here, so I'm hoping this will be a passing shower. Uh, so I'll do that, and I'll see you in a minute. Right, well, it's eased up a little bit, but the rain's certainly not stopping, so I'm just going to carry on anyway. Uh, so I've brought all the posts down, and I've made this little jig up. So just a couple of pieces of wood on the back there to get the angle. That hooks onto the corner of the post there and I've drilled through the two holes there. So that means that the bolt holes for the posts are all in exactly the same place. So the plan now is to clamp that as temporary onto the side of our beam here, um, drill through the two holes. So I've got the bolt holes and bolt them all in place. And I've got to do that for all of them. So yeah, let's get on.
Okay, well that's the post in place for the handrails. Um, now I haven't tightened the bolts fully, so there's still a bit of adjustment. Now I'm a little concerned about the height of them. To be honest, I'm thinking they're too tall. Um, so I'm gonna have to cut the ones at the end there anyway, because thinking about it, I've cut the tops of these posts flat. And where that deck is gonna be sloped at the far end there, obviously the top of the posts are gonna have to be sloped at the same angle. So I'm gonna have to cut those ones anyway. Uh, so what I'm thinking, I'm gonna have some lunch now, because uh, it's well past lunchtime. So I need to get the handrail posts on this side in place, get the deck down, and then start putting the planks on the sides um, and work my way up. And then I can get to a height that I feel comfortable with the handrail being at, and then cut the posts again. Um, it's irritating because I cut them all nicely, but uh, I'd rather it be right. So, speed this is going out, I don't think I'm going to be finished today, but we'll see. Okay, well I wanted to leave the deck off as long as possible, but I think I'm going to have to put it on now. Because uh, the boards there I was going to use on the sides and stack them up. And then that will define the height that my handrail finishes at. And I can't start putting those boards on until the deck boards are down. Um, now the reason I was leaving the deck boards off is because once you put a deck on here, it suddenly is a bridge and people want to walk on it, even though it hasn't got handrails. So uh, I'm going to have to get these deck boards down and just hope that I've got enough time to get the handrails sorted as well. So yeah, I've cut them all to size already, so hopefully this should go relatively quickly, but let's see.
So unfortunately the camera battery died, so you missed the last of me putting the screws in, which I'm sure you're devastated about. Um, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it. Um, but yeah, so all of the planks are now screwed in position. So I've put screws at either end of the plank. I still need to do the two middle rows, uh, but I can come back and do that another day. The planks are secure and I'll be able to get to them after I've put the handrails in. So I can leave that for now. Uh, so I'm back on to look at these stupid handrails and they are still doing my head in. Um, so these boards that I was going to put on, uh, I don't know what size they've sent me. I think it's like, like 3.6 meters, which is completely different. Uh, so I can have a plank there and a join. I'm then going to have to another plank to one of these two posts and another join because of the change of angle and then the rest of the plank will go across to the end there. So the two planks does, it does fit nicely so it will work. Uh, it's just a shame because I'm going to have to have a joint there and then another joint on one of these two posts. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do, I did it with a, I think it was a 50mm gap which is roughly those blocks of wood. So it's, I'm going to put the block of wood in, screw the plank on and just work my way up uh, on the sides here. And then the ends here, I'll just uh, run a saw down afterwards and just make sure that they're all in line that way. Um, so I'm going to start with this part because this is the easy part uh, before I move on to cutting anything. Right, let's get some of these in. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get the bridge finished. Uh, I didn't think I would, but it was hopeful. Uh, so as you can see, it is absolutely chucking it down. It's now gone five o'clock. I've still got to pack up uh, and it's starting to go wrong anyway. So I have no idea what's going on with the handrail on this side. It is bent like a banana. So I'm going to have to sort that out. These boards are going to have to be cut an angle. So I know that that's going to go wrong if I try doing that today as well. So there's no point me staying late to try and get this finished. Uh, it's going to have to stay like this uh, for the next week because I'm off for the next week. Hopefully when I come back I'll feel nice and energetic and it'll all go right and it'll get done in no time. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one and I shall see you later.